Attention. So heat of the Stoner Challenge Cup. Go. It's the first time we've seen this event at Hen this year's Henley Regatta. We have the crew from Leander on the Buckinghamshire Station. And the crew from Germany on the Berkshire Station. Obviously, as they go out of the blocks, the double skulls, one of my favourite events. Understandably. Spend too much time in it. <laughs> But as they move their way up along the island, not much in it. You obviously got the German crew. Huge amounts of experience in this German That's, crew. Yeah. Huge, huge amounts of experience. We've got two yeah. silver medalists from the Olympics in 2012 there on the top of your picture. Locals from Leander Club on the bottom of your picture. Beth Bryan and Catherine Maitland, who came through the qualifiers to contest the Stoner Challenge Trophy. And as we've already said this morning, first time we'll have seen these guys out on the course. We've got a few more rounds. Yeah, and as we today. make our way up the course off Thames, you can see the the class, I guess, of the German crew, you know, two Olympic silver medalists from the women's quad in London. But that kind of skill they have, being able to move into the double. And actually, in fact, um, we've, you know, Bear went on to win, to become an Olympic champion in Rio uh, in the same event in the quad. So stacks of experience in the German crew and you can see the quality there. Oh, what makes the double skulls go so quickly, Mark? You're the doubles specialist here. You say I'm a specialist, but I only got to go fast with one partner, so it's that class as a specialist. But no, it's, it's a unique boat. It's that harmony of, you know, being able to move together, having a very clear goal of how you want to row, um, the things you're going to work on. Um, but that chemistry is so important, so important. Um, and I found that the ones that you know go fast, as soon as you get in, you can just sense it. There's this, like, sixth sense I think you have as an athlete, and you can just sense it's going to be a good boat. And do you think they'll have had to change their styles much coming from the quad? You know, the bigger boat, it yeah. moves a bit faster to come into a double skull and, and do well. Very, very much so. I think there's just more time in the, in the double. The, the quad seems a more frantic boat when I always think about it. But it's moving so quickly, and there's so many blades and... You know, just a slightly different style, but the, the double, I just think there's a bit more composure in it, so it gives you that kind of breathing space. As just look at the class here, just look at the move and the symmetry between them. And again, well, actually, in the eighths, I was talking about the noise that you get from when you know you extract the blades at the finish there, and you can hear it on the German crew in a double. So that just goes to show you the, the synchronicity and the, and the power that this German crew have. And, and a good effort here from Brian and Maitland. Beth Bryan runs her own swim school. And She's you know a swimmer by nature. And what's great is these, the, the, the ladies from Leander won at Henley Women's, so that's another good feeder. They've won up with Henley Women's. They've come into here to race internationals, and that will help them progress. So, you know, just having that combination. And, and Beth Bryan actually uh, got a bit of a shock diagnosis this year. She was diagnosed with endometriosis. But she's, you know, she's been really good at promoting awareness for the disease there's one in ten women have it and it can take years to diagnose so she only just found that out this year she was in the british squad up until that point she, she took a bit of time off bronze medalist wasn't she yeah. the europeans back in 2017 the quad She's so a fantastic athlete from the northeast of england formerly tees rowing club if you're tuning in from tees good morning to you um but no great to see beth back racing uh, with her partner catherine maitland there in the stroke seats but going up against two Olympic silver medalists, one Olympic champion in the first round, it's uh, it's tough going. But you know, it's, they'll have really appreciated the chance and the opportunity to race here on the course. It's a feeling like no other for these guys, and they'll row through the enclosure with tons of support for this both the German crew and the Land Club crew. German crew make their way towards the end of the enclosures. You can see the symmetry between them as they pull the way down. And that's the thing, you know, everyone talks about the perfect technique, but every crew is different. You know, as long as you're doing something together, that's the important part. And that's what I was trying to tell people is that there's loads of different styles out there. There's not one perfect one. That's a great performance there by the German crew as they win that heat of the Stoner Challenge Cup and progress on to tomorrow's semi-final. 